all everyone and welcome back to another Power Automate desktop video. In today's video I'm going to cover another function that is called the send mouse click which is a very powerful function that you'll probably use in the creation of your flows at some point when you run into issues of not being able to either use something as a UI element or a button. A send mouse click is a good available option to help solve any issues within your flows and help the performance. So without further ado, let's hop on into Power Automate Desktop. Now that we're logged into Power Automate Desktop, what I'm going to do is use the flow from the last video that I did on launching a new browser and that was called the testing flow. So if we click on the pencil here, it will open up this flow. It'll take just a second to load. Now that this flow has loaded, what we'll do is go up here to our search, search bar here and we'll type in send mouse and the send mouse click here. And then what I'll do is just drag this into our flow. Now this is open up the screen here. What we'll do just like in our previous video is click on the more information button so we can figure out or, or see some of the Microsoft documentation on this function. So if you click on more info, you will see that this is a send mouse click function and there are different um, documentation that you can read through when you have a chance. And I'll include this link to this website below. So what we'll do now is head back on over to Power Automate Desktop. And what we'll do here is click on this first one is mouse event to send. Um, your options here, you have a very long list of item, options to choose here. You can either left click, right click, double click, um, the left button down, left button up, right button down, right button up, and a middle click. In today's instance, what I'm going to be doing is just using the left click. So what I'll do is just select the left click here and the wait function here. This is where in the wait section here, this is a little bit tricky here because I'm sure most of you that haven't used this or when you're starting to use this type of function, you're gonna say, wait, okay, this is zero. This is probably seconds. But what you need to do is highlight your mouse over the I on the far right hand corner here. And before I do that, it will show us what the actual wait time is it in seconds is. So without further ado, it is sending the mouse vent in one one thousandth of a second. So basically, if you hit one here, it would only be one one thousand. So if you want it to be that whole almost second, you need to have a number in here that's almost up to a thousand. So let's just do. 900 for example you don't have to do this but what you're going to want to do when you're creating your flows is definitely have the wait time greater than zero because what you'll want to do is is sometimes the flow works too quickly and if you send that mouse click too soon then you're going to have a greater chance of this step failing in your flow what you can do next, if you want to see the actual mouse move, is you can click on here, or not, I'm, this, this actually opens up the actual function, sorry, that allows you to pick the X and Y coordinates relative to the screen, and then it just shows you as I'm moving my mouse around here what the X and Y coordinates are on the screen. So those are the X and Y coordinates. As I scroll down the screen here, what you do in order to, to, to capture this mouse click is you have to hit the control and shift button at the same time in order to grab this X and Y coordinate that saves in the function here. And before I do that, you have the, the mouse movement that I jumped ahead earlier was talking about, and this can be instant. Um, you can do it with either low speed, normal speed, or high speed. I, I would suggest either doing low or normal speed just to slow the process down of this step in your flow. 
once again, so you have that greater chance of, of not having this step fail with inside of your flow. So what we'll do here is low speed. And then what I'll do here is open up the Enterprise DNA Forum because this is the website that was opened up by our previous step. So if I click on that, and then if you go to anywhere on the screen here, let's say if I wanna to go to the events page within here, what I'm going to do now is just hold down Control and Shift, and then go back to Power Automate Desktop, and you can see that it saved those coordinates, the X and Y coordinates right there. I hit Save. And then before we run this and test it, what I'm going to do is open this back up and show you at the very end. You also do have another option within this step to click on error. And it, just like the previous video, you can either you know retry if this mouse click were to fail, or you can actually throw an error and have the fail or have the flow fail if this mouse click fails. So I'll return to parameters here. I'll hit the save button again, and what I'll do is save the flow here. And as that flow is saving, once it's saved, we'll test this out and run to see if it works. Okay, now that the flow is saved, what we'll do here, once again, is click on the run button, and it should open up the Enterprise DNA Forum, and then click on the, the, on the, the left click. And what we can do here before that is what we'll do is we'll double click on this, and what we can do, or no, not within here. I'll close this out. Never mind on that stuff that I was going to do before. We have everything set up the way that we should, so we'll hit run, and it should open up the Enterprise DNA Forum, and then click on that Events tab. So if I click Run, it'll take just a second here to open up the Enterprise DNA Forum, and then it should click on the Events and I don't think it worked. Actually, it's taking a long time to actually do this. You can see my mouse moving here and it clicked on events. So that's, that was a, a real slow replay of why. That's why it took it so long to do. So what we'll do now just for this purpose here is go back in and edit the flow and try this again. Now let's click on this send mouse click and we'll go over here and we'll keep that at 900, the wait time, but we'll scroll down here to instant and we'll hit save. Save to the flow again. And now we'll try running this again. So now let's hit run. This should open up the enterprise DNA forum and then click a lot faster and it clicked on events. Boom, we're right where we should be. Okay, that was a little bit of uh, a little bit of fun there. Uh, it was good to see that live, the where you can see how when you're going through your flows like this that you may have errors like that and it's just quick and easy to go back in and change that and then rerun it and you keep doing that until you figure things out. Well, I hope once again that you enjoyed the, these types of videos and if you have any suggestions for any future videos, please put those in the comments section below and hope to see you soon on another video. Thanks. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.